Hi, I'm Amy from East Bears, and in this video I'll be showing you how to replace the heater on a Samsung EcoBubble washing machine. If you find that your washing machine is no longer heating up during a cycle, this means that your heater is faulty and will need replacing. So to carry out this replacement, you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, and a 10mm socket. To access the heater, you're going to need to remove the back panel of your washing machine. And you can do that by unscrewing the six screws that hold it into place here. Now we can go ahead and lift the back panel away, but before we do that, I'm just going to put on a pair of safety gloves, as there can be a lot of sharp edges on this repair. With the back panel removed, we can now go ahead and remove the belt. And to do this, you can simply hold it here and pull down and towards you, and the belt should pop off the pulley and spindle. Just be careful, because it can pop off quite quickly. You can now start removing the heater by disconnecting the electrical connections, but we do recommend taking a photo of these connections beforehand so you know where to fit them onto the new heater. As you can see, the two coloured wires go up here and the earth wire goes down here. Using the 10mm socket, we can now remove the nut that holds the heater cover in place. And then using the Phillips screwdriver, we can remove the screw that holds the wire clamp in place. You should be able to now pull the heater cover free and then pull the heater from outside your machine too. But this can be a little tight sometimes, so you might need to use the flat blade screwdriver to help you. If you find that you're really struggling to remove your heater, not to worry, we've got a really handy trick to help you. All you need to do is tilt your washing machine backwards and pour boiling water into the drum. Then leave it against a solid stable surface for a few minutes. Then after a few minutes, you can then return your washing machine to the upright position and making sure that your heat is disconnected, you can then plug in your appliance, turn it on and run a drain cycle to get rid of the water that you just put in. The hot water should have helped soften the seal around the heater. So once you're ready, you can then disconnect your machine again and remove the heater and it should come out nicely. Now it's time to fit the new heater, and to do this you'll need to make sure that you have your washing machine's model number to hand. This will make sure that you buy the correct replacement part for your make and model. If you're unsure of your washing machine's model number, you can take a look at our video up here, which will explain how to find the model number on your washing machine. And we'll also link down below in the description where you can get your hands on a replacement heater from our website. To fit the new heater, simply slide it into the socket, making sure that it goes into the bracket on the other side. You can then refit the heater cover and screw it into place. Next, we can reconnect the electrical connections to the heater element, and it's important to make sure these go in the correct place so you can refer back to the photo you took earlier if you need to. Next, we can refit the belt, making sure that the rib side of the belt is on the rib side of the spindle. Then we can just hold the belt into place on the pulley and slowly work it round, making sure that your fingers are out the way as you do this. Just take your time with this one and be patient because it can be a little tight sometimes. Finally, we can refit the back panel using the six screws that we removed earlier. We can just slide it into place. And there you have it, how to replace the heater on your Samsung Eco Bubble washing machine. Hopefully now your washing machine is heating up water again and working as it should. 
Carrying out necessary repairs isn't the only way to keep your washing machine safe. There are also some important checks that you should carry out, so take a look at our video down here on important safety checks for your washing machine to make sure that your washing machine is hazard free. Before you go, be sure to subscribe to our channel for plenty more appliance repairs, maintenance tips and all things e-spares. Thanks for watching.